Hey everyone, and welcome back to another great eShop Deals video. Now I know what you're all thinking, with an over 70 game video dropping just on Tuesday and another 40 plus game video dropping for our under $5 deals, are there really any games that are still worth getting on the eShop that we haven't gone over yet? Well, maybe you or your wallets are gonna hate me today, but yes, I found over 30 other games that are really worth picking up on the Nintendo Switch eShop, and that's what we're gonna be going over today. Also, don't worry, this isn't a repeat of last weekend's video, because as usual, regular rules apply. Any deals that were mentioned in last weekend's video won't be repeated in today's video. So if you want to make sure that any of those deals are still live, you can always check out that video as well. Also, don't forget that about halfway through the video, we're going to be announcing this week's winner of the $5 eShop gift card. If you're wondering how you can participate in that giveaway, all you got to do is check out my midweek under $5 eShop deals video. The participation is in that video. So now let's get started on our list and don't forget that if you do like what you see to please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Now once again this week we are starting off very strong with Ori and the Will of the Wisps that is back to 50% off at $14.99 which is pretty much equivalent to its lowest ever price. And this is one of my all time favorite games on the Switch all genres combined. It is a beautiful metroidvania, great graphics great gameplay, approachable for people that are new to metroidvanias, and also challenging for people that are experienced. It is an overall almost perfect game. Next, we have Indivisible, which is an RPG that is currently 75% off at $7.49. Now this game didn't make my original list simply because although it is all around a pretty good game, I did find that the mechanics, combat mechanics were a little watered down, which is a mix between real time and basically turn based RPG tactics. And at $30, I would say that this game I would normally pass, but at 75% off for $7.49, if you're into RPGs, this one nonetheless has a very compelling storyline, beautiful graphics, just a sort of lackluster combat system. Now the next game on our list is The Last Campfire, that is 50% off at $7.49. Now honestly, I don't know how I missed this one on my original list, but with over a thousand games to go over, it was bound to happen a couple of times. Now The Last Campfire is a beautiful 3D puzzle platformer. It is very reminiscent in its puzzles of a Zelda game, but it has no combat. But nonetheless, it is beautiful to play and experience. Definitely a steal at $7.49. Next, we have Bug Fables, the Everlasting Sapling, at 35% off for $16.24. Another RPG adventure, but set very much like a Paper Mario game, however, in an insect-centric universe. Another amazing game, and it rarely goes on sale as well, so at 35% off, this becomes a really, really good pickup. Next, we have another entry for my RPG fans, the Grandia HD collection that is also 50% off at $19.99. So you get a remake of two great RPGs in this pack. I'll be honest with you, I played the originals, I haven't played the remakes, but from everything I heard, they are a definite upgrade from the original releases with some beautifully remastered HD graphics. Next, we have the Capcom Beat'em Up Bundle that is 50% off at $9.99. If you love your retro brawlers, this is a collection that you definitely have to pick up. My personal favorites among the games on this collection is Final Fight and Knights of the Round, two classics from the SNES era. Next on the list, we have a new entry to the list and also a game that came out just a little while ago, Turnip Boy Commits Tax Evasion. This is actually a really fun action RPG. And while I'm waiting for Garden Story to drop, you know what? This has a very similar art style to what that game is going to be offering. Honestly, the only thing, the storyline is not all that long for an RPG, but at 20% off for $11.99, I would say that RPG fans, this is a decent one to pick up. Next, we have the Metro series that is on sale with both Metro 2033 and Metro Last Light Redux being at 65% off for $8.74. These are some really great, dark, gritty FPS games. If you're into that genre, definitely look at picking up these two for this week. So next we have Journey to the Savage Planet that is 60% off at $11.99. Now this is a first person action adventure game 
platformer slash survival game. It is just fantastic all around. It is beautiful to behold. And the fact that it is actually running in a portable format on the Nintendo Switch is actually quite fantastic. Now, is this the best way to play the game out of all the consoles? Probably not. But for the portability factor, once again, I would definitely pick this one up on the Switch. Now, next we have Super Meat Boy that is 60% off at $5.99. If you want one of the really difficult platformers that actually put difficult platformers on the map, Super Meat Boy has to be a definite pickup with a lot of challenging levels, yet really addictive gameplay. This is one of the games that even though some levels might take you 20, 30, 50 tries, you won't be able to put the controller down till you actually make it through. Next on the list, we have Forager at 45% off for only $10.99. If you love your exploration, farming, crafting games, Forager is a game that you should definitely give a try on the Nintendo Switch. Yes, it does have pretty simple pixel graphics, but trust me, the gameplay is very deep and very, very fun with even some different enemies out there to challenge and everything. This is really an awesome game and this is one of the lowest prices I've seen it at. Now, next we have Katrin Full Body at 50% off for $24.99. Now, this is a game with quite a cult following. It is a narrative driven game with puzzle solving elements also thrown in, all about a guy cheating on his girlfriend and trying to get his way out of it. It is a weird storyline. Personally, not maybe my favorite game, but I know at 50% off, a bunch of people are going to want to pick this one up. Now, next on the list, we have My Friend Pedro at 50% off for $9.99. If you love quick reaction games with over the top action and really crazy physics, My Friend Pedro should definitely be something to check out for you. And at 50% off for only $9.99, this game is actually quite a steal once again. Next, we have the Turok series that is on sale, which are two Nintendo 64 classics all about hunting down dinosaurs and eventually these weird alien slash dinosaur hybrid type characters. Anyway, it is just pure FPS action from the N64 era. These were remastered for the Switch. These are very decent ports. However, at their full price of $20, I would say that they're not smooth enough to go and pick up on the Switch. However, right now at 50% off at $9.99, they can become some definitely good value. Next on the list, we have Raji, an ancient epic at 50% off for $12.49. Now, this is an action adventure game set in ancient India. And honestly, I don't think it gets enough attention. It is a really very beautiful game, very compelling. The only thing at its $24.99 price point, it has a lot of competition on the Switch. However, at 50% off now at $12.49, it is one of the best pickups at this price point. If you need any convincing, this one has a free downloadable demo. Now next, just before we move on to our next game, it is time to announce this week's winner of the $5 eShop gift card. And this week's winner is going to be Danny Patrick, who said, I picked up Bastion a few days ago and I'm loving the playthrough. Definitely a great pickup. And I agree with you, Danny, out of this week's under $5 list, Bastion was probably one of the best overall pickups. So all you need to do, Danny, to claim your $5 eShop gift card is reach out to me in my pinned comment in this video just down below. Next on the list, we have another great 3D platformer in the form of New Super Lucky's Tail that is 30% off at $20.99. This was a great port to the Switch. Only thing, if you're a diehard 3D platformer fan, this one never gets quite to that challenging level that you eventually expect from like a Mario or some of the other big franchises. If you want to try it out for yourself, this one has a free downloadable demo as well. Next, we have a game for puzzle fans. Lumines Remastered is 60% off for only $5.99. Now, this is a new twist on the block puzzle design. So if Tetris or Puyo Puyo isn't your thing, Lumines Remastered is a definite another game to try out because this one has its own twist on that classic design. Next, we have Ashen that is 65% off for $13.99. And this is another game this week that is a definite steal. Now, this is for fans of Souls-like combat games. Ashen is an open-world co-op action RPG, and it is an amazingly challenging Souls-like game. If you're looking for that for this week, definitely check this one out. Now, next on the list, we have the Ninja Saviors Return of the Warriors at 50% off for $9.99. 
the reboot of a 90s arcade beat-em-up franchise at its best. And honestly, this is a game that I can't believe once again I forgot on that top 70 list because this should have definitely had its place. If you're into the beat-em-up type of gameplay, definitely give this game a try. It is fantastic. Now next we have a horror series that personally is not one of my favorites, but is definitely worth a mention because currently it is 50% off at $24.99 and I know quite a few people might want to pick this one up. That is Deadly Premonition 2 A Blessing in Disguise. Personally, I just don't like the franchise because it's a little too campy in my opinion, but nonetheless, this is a great game for a lot of people. You can check out reviews online, see if this is your kind of game at 50% off. Now would be a definite time to pick it up if it's your style. Next, we have Bloodstained Ritual of the Night that is 30% off at $27.99. It's simple, this one didn't make the list the other day because I've already seen it cheaper than this. But nonetheless, at 30% off, it is still a decent deal if you were really looking at picking up this amazing Metroidvania with very heavy Castlevania influence. Now next we had another game that I had to mention, which is Cyber Shadow, that is 10% off at $17.99. And that 10% off is why I didn't make the list the other day. And I was so sad because I would have really wanted to include my game. So far, this is my top game of 2021 that's come out so far. I love this game to death for anyone into challenging action 2D platformers. But at that only 10%, it just couldn't make the list of top 70 games. But nonetheless, I wanted to point this one out because even at full price, I would say this one is definitely worth it. 10% off is better than nothing. Now next we have Darksiders Genesis, which is the latest entry in the Darksiders series that is 50% off at $19.99. Now if you've played previous entries, this one has a top-down view rather than a behind-the-person view, and you also have two playable characters, one with shooting mechanics, the other one with melee mechanics. It's a nice twist on the series, Personally, I preferred the earlier entries, but this one was nonetheless very important, especially for the storyline elements. Next, we have a beautiful 2D action platformer with Metroidvania elements, which is Owlboy. That is 40% off at $14.99. Now, this is another one of those games that is just fantastic, but when it's at its regular price, there's such harsh competition on the Switch, it's a little hard to suggest. However, right now at 40% off for $14.99, this one is definitely worth a pickup if you're into 2D platformers or Metroidvanias. Next, we have Blue Fire, which is a tough as nails 3D action platformer with a very heavy emphasis on the platformer. Now, I did a full review of this game on my channel. I even did Let's Plays on it. If you want to check it out, definitely do that. But this one is a really solid game that came out this year. It's also been patched up for a couple of bugs that had the game crashing from time to time. So at 30% off for $13.99, I would say this is a really good pickup for this week. Next. We have Raiden 5 Director's Cut. You know I couldn't go through this list without at least including one shoot 'em up. And this is one that I missed the other day. At 70% off for $8.99, Raiden 5 is definitely a good pickup. Raiden is one of the longest standing shoot 'em up series. Of course, my personal favorite was Raiden 4 rather than Raiden 5, but nonetheless, this is an excellent entry and at only $8.99, this is definitely the cheaper pickup. Next, we have one of the most amazing packs I've ever seen, which is the pack of Child of Light plus Valiant Hearts at 75% off for $7.49 for both games. Now, these are two amazing games. They are two 2D games. One has RPG type combat, the other one more action type combat, but they both have beautiful art styles and should definitely be picked up even individually. So when this pack is only $7.49 for both, it is a definite steal. Now last to finish off today's list, we have Tide of Tasmanian Tiger HD that is 35% off at $19.49. Personally, I love the Tide of Tasmanian Tiger series. I played the originals. The only thing is that at $30, I always feel like they're too expensive with the current landscape on the Switch. And the second one is on sale as well this week, but it's not even on the list at all because it's only 13% off, making it still, in my opinion, too expensive. At $19.49, this 3D platformer is finally at a price that I'm comfortable suggesting it to everyone out there to give it a try. It has awesome mechanics and a really, really beautiful visuals. 
So that is pretty much it to round off this week's list of eShop deals. It's been a crazy week with so many sales that it was hard to keep a track of. Now, I would like to note that most of the deals I mentioned today only have a couple of days left on them. So if you do want to pick these games up, you have to move pretty quick. That also probably means that starting next week, the eShop deals videos lists will be back to more of a regular size. Now for the winner of this week's $5 eShop gift card, don't forget to reach out to me in the comments down below and check out the midweek video if you want to find out how you can participate for next week. As usual, I really want to thank all my channel supporters. Memberships, as I said, are now open and you can check that out in the description of the video down below. And just before we go, I just want to remind you that if you did like the video, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already, please hit the notification bell so you know when all my future videos come out. And as usual, I hope I'll see you in my next video.